those of you who are sitting at the back, would you please consider moving forward? I think the speakers will find it a little more encouraging. So the first uh, talk in the overview series is on collaborative information retrieval. Um, and Johannes Lidelli from GCU will tell you more about it. Thanks. Uh, so I'm presenting uh, for Ivanka Kanguli, who's busy at another conference presenting another of our recent papers. I'm basically giving just an updated version of the presentation from last year. Last year we organized a grant track on personalized information retrieval. This year we just call it collaborative information uh, So I just start with presenting the general idea of Tactile evaluation and then uh, present all of you to go beyond the standard ad hoc information retrieval evaluation scheme, going towards collaborative and personalized IR evaluation. I briefly present some information on the data information retrieval log, um, possibly some baseline experiments we did after the track organization last year. Um, maybe show some concerns, but I can also skip over that and then conclude. So there are many information retrieval uh, campaigns such as Crashly, NCIR, Runfire, IMAX, and FIRE. And typically the evaluation methodology is like this. The organizers come up with some interesting novel tasks, a new problem uh, which the participants participants are supposed to solve. So uh, the organizers create typically some set of uh, topics or queries for the participants to work on. Then the participants, the group, come up with a system, an approach or method to solve this problem. Uh, typically this involves indexing for document collection, processing the topics or queries uh, provided by the organizers, and then submitting the system results to the organizer from the track. And finally, the organizers and possibly also the participants have to do some relevant assessment, uh, telling which documents satisfy the information need expressed in the topic, and then they can compute lots of uh, interesting IR measures and metrics and compare systems and how well different methods perform. An example track topic we've already seen uh, one or two in the previous presentation. Uh, an example track topic looks like this. You have some markup uh, to identify it and the topic. You have the topic ID and then a query toward keywords like queries in the title field, in this case foreign, minority, Germany, uh, with a somewhat longer description typically a full sentence describing the information need and a much longer narrative field, which is uh, mostly intended for the relevant assessor to distinguish between relevant and non-relevant documents. But the limitation, if you follow this approach, the limitations of this approach uh, are that you assume that single one topic fits all the different users. The different users might have the same information need but express it in different words. This is not reflected in the standard track setup setup. And also we assume that one result set fits all users. So we don't differentiate between users with different previous knowledge or uh, different side interest uh, for a topic. We just assume that all, all the users given the query would find the same set of documents relevant. So our idea for the collaborative or personalized information retrieval task was to uh, lock all the user interaction during the topic development and try to find out if we can somehow use the additional information to improve information retrieval performance. So this was 
we, we take information from different users, we can uh, different ways of expressing the same or very similar information. We, we try to store a lot of this information and try to make use of this information later on. <coughs> so an example would be um, Bollywood movies. Uh, different users who search for movies in the broad category Bollywood movies would probably look for different movie titles, which means that the they express their information needs, which might be very similar uh, in very different words, but just using the title. And also, users somehow evolve sometimes their, their information needs. So they might, might start off with a very simple query, uh, then scan or browse the retrieved document, read part of the document, and then modify their uh, expression of information needs based on what they've seen so far. So they would come up with another query, maybe modify the query by finding some terms or dropping some query terms. Submit the query again, again uh, look at the retrieved document, and so on. So the, the user's knowledge about the uh, general topic would change over time, given that they uh, somehow learn by reading documents, <coughs> looking at document titles. <coughs> so in the collaborative fire task, uh, we plan to look at different elements of personalization involving the different uh, query formulation of users and the different relevant documents the users identify. So we also love user interaction with this system where the user saves or bookmarks the document for reading later on. And we could assume that at least uh, part of these uh, documents in the set are relevant. <coughs> so the, the main idea was that we locked the whole topic development process and that later on the same user the relevance of the document. Also, there are some element of collaboration, so different users might search the same category, the same broad area uh, for an information need, and then start developing the queries from this point. So we try, we would want to try to make use of this, this information by looking at, at the whole iterative would be, can we assume I have system to address individual user-specific information? This goes beyond the one size fits all textile paradigm. So the whole idea was uh, that using our provided system for the participants, uh, user would first select a broad category like the impact and painter, then he would come up with a query related to the broad category. For example, in the painter, uh, we retrieve some documents from a set of uh, index documents. So the user could read these documents and reformulate this query. So this is an iteration. So the user would then come up with different variants for the same broad category, hardware painting, design painting, central Finally, after the user thinks he's finished, he's learned uh, what he can vary or what he wants. <clears throat> the user would enter a final set query and come up with a summary to uh, abstract what he's learned in this whole area. For us, for the organizers, this would ensure that the user actually did some, did some work, spent some time. So uh, on the right hand side, this is what an example query or something would look like. We have basically the same markup as an abstract query, but we have additional fields, in this case, the username and the category name. So 
the slide uh, illustrate again the difference between the stress side evaluation and our proposed collaborative IR evaluation? In track, you assume that single query uh, in your system does some retrieval and you return a single set of pertinent or not pertinent documents. But then that's it. You make a decision. It's just one iteration. Mm. How we envision this Second iteration, you would come up with typically a different query and a different set of documents would be retrieved, and you can continue this process until the user is finished or has spent enough time with it. So, this would again be the, the activity flow of a user or a topic developer. we reference to you and which we used last year as well was the English ad hoc fire uh, collection with articles <coughs> of Indian newspapers. We also worked this year on indexing the English Wikipedia articles to make the task more attractive to potential participants. Uh, we, we indexed all the data with the theme to come up with a baseline system, and we used the same category we used last year, but with 15 different categories such as uh, India, Indian, Indian art, and things like that. So we uh, provided a graphical user interface implemented as a Java surplus based interface uh, to block. This includes registration of the user, uh, storing the, the login or account information, category selection, retrieving, viewing, bookmarking documents, and the submission of the summary to ensure the user actually works on the topic, and finally the submission of the uh, final topic publication. So the data we store, we have, as I already said, additional information like the username, the category name, to identify what's going on in the current session, which query, or query variants, you know, together. We store the query string, uh, the document ID, which are retrieved, and then store additional information on the document. They are viewed or bookmarked for reading later on. We also mark our average user As I've already uh, showed you, the queries are uh, represented in this extended track style format um, using additional information, username, category, and so on. So the main question was, can we tune IR systems to address the problem of individualizing or personalizing uh, results or the whole search process for the user? And the objective was investigate how different uh, proposed approaches or different systems, how well they can actually achieve this. Evaluation would be based on standard evaluation metrics, such as precision at uh, top ranks or mean average precision. But not everything goes according to plan. So last year we had uh, registered participants, which was actually quite good, at least we thought so, until we waited for some submissions and nothing happened. Um, so we had 25 topics, we had uh, some topic developers who were working with the virtual user interface and started creating uh, some data for us, but we lost and so on. But we didn't have any official submissions last year. So this year, even more, we had uh, two expressions of interest or two
to register a system and then nothing happening, so we decided not to do anything for just to do it. Uh, but the good thing is we have some data to play with. The data is out there. If you contact us, we can provide you with data uh, to play around with. We have a baseline implementation which actually works to some extent, which means the information we use in the baseline implementation uh, benefits the IR performance, so it increases mean average precision or precision to to some extent. So you can play around with the baseline implementation, add in your own methods to what happens. So the last two slides are actually an update of last year's conclusions, which were not so positive in a way. Um, first is positive. The baseline results, the results for our baseline implementation actually show that we can improve performance by uh, making use of this additional information from the public development process, which is a good thing. But last year we wanted to work on several aspects of the whole uh, collaborative or personalized information retrieval track. So we wanted to identify reasons for the lack of precision. We saw early on that uh, one of the reasons might be that the entry level is too high. And that's why we actually came up with this baseline implementation. So people could start from there do very simple things, uh, not spend a lot of time on very complex systems, which might or might not work. Uh, we also plan to generate more logs or more, more user data in general uh, to actually make the, the systems or the approaches more reliable, uh, more robust, to, to have more data to play with. So we did some in-house experiments users, which are mostly Chinese students, so the data might not be too good. Uh, but we generated some more uh, data, which is also out there. All our users were not paid, so we have all volunteers who actually want to contribute. Uh, they don't just generate some data because they, they get paid by the world or by the charity. And we also wanted to make the task more interesting to users in general. So last year, we worked on the index in the newspaper articles, and most, most people in-house at HBCU at Dublin City University uh, were not happy to work or to search on this collection because they didn't know what was covered. They didn't know what was going on in India. So to increase the coverage and to make the task uh, more accessible in general, we decided to also look at the Wikipedia and then to uh, offer a broad category, broad list of search categories for users to explore. But finally, uh, it might be the case that there are too many other related or similar tasks out there. So, for example, there's a session retrieval task at Track, where the organizers look at how queries and, and how the performance of systems evolve over time and extensions of the same user. This is somehow related. We, we don't only look at sessions or a single user, we look at broader aspects. And also, there was something uh, organized by Yard Camp, 